quick mailbag today. First out of the package, I got some coin cell holders. Now, I haven't done a lot of coin cell operated electronics projects, and I really, this winter, I'd like to give some a try. I've got a couple ideas for the AT Tiny 85 projects that would might be able to run off coin cell for quite a little while. So, just grabbed a few of these. They're for a, a circuit board mount, but you could solder wires on if you wanted to. Next up, this was a, a, a Tindy uh, project uh, or product that uh, really hit home with me. This is something that I really wanted. Some of you guys that follow me on social media or hang out in Discord saw me complaining about this. Every time I go to grab a USB cable, I end up and getting one that's uh, that's not a smart cable, that's just power, and I'd like to just rid my home of them entirely. Well, I wanted to build a simple tester. Well, sure enough, this project did. And I'll link it down below. In theory, we should be able to plug our USB in and plug our USB in here. And if it's a good USB cable, we should get all the lights. Now, I have, honestly, I think I've rid my home of the workshop of the, the non-smart ones lately, but I'm going to go through and double check them after this video. But that's a pretty cool little product. The only thing I wish it had was more different styles of USB in parallel. USB-C, micro A. It would be really nice if it was just all of them and they were just all in parallel. So you just plug in whatever cable you've got. Boom, 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 boom. But unfortunately, this is stuck to only one style. Too bad, really. But I wanted to give it a little bit of support, so I did. Uh, next up, this is just some uh, run cam uh, straps, I think. Yeah, these are just for holding down uh, action cameras on my quadcopters. It's a, a thin battery strap. Uh, for the cameras themselves. Next up, these are replacement linear bearings for my i3 Mega 3D printer. And I have no idea how they're going to work or if they're going to work, but they came with a good recommendation that these are the, these are the ones you want to use. I have one bearing that's making a little bit of a snapping sound and it has since day one. So at some point I, I can't I can't bring myself to disassemble that printer yet because it just works so magnificent. But when the day comes that I have it apart for something else, I think I'll, I'll swap these in on the gantry. And these are what allow your hot end to just slide back and forth and fore and aft. Uh, last couple of things and then we're going to go outside, I think. I got a couple of projects from my local dollar store. This is a solar stair light. I want the solar panels out of this. And then this is a, a high growth, uh, just a thermometer and clock that runs off of one single AAA that I want to run off of this. But I want to make a nuclear battery to run this. This is just, this is just the dummy load that I need. I want to make a nuclear battery that can last 10 years. And I think we can do it with some of these and uh, a piece of, more nifty material that should be coming in in the upcoming days. One last thing from the dollar store. I just grabbed a night light. I wanted to try this with my lithopanes that I've been 3D printing. I made a whole bunch of them, nice small ones, curved ones, and I wanted to see if this would, if I can just set them on it, and if it lights up the lithopane very well. This is fantastic use for these, and uh, and great use for lithopanes. Uh, I've been doing uh, rigs, my uh, old English sheepdog, and they've been turning out fantastic. So, yeah, uh, that's there's a video on that upcoming. Let's go outside. Okay, back out to the shop. A little bit of a mailbag, a little bit of an update. Ah, I got some cool things. Check this out. I got the hose run for my compressor all the way to the ceiling. And now I just pull this line down and I'm all set with the air from there. So pretty cool. Happy about that. Did a little bit of a cleanup on these pocket bikes. Got one part come in for that one and maybe I'll make it work on a video. I don't know. And we got some mailbag stuff. Let's check it out. 
All right, we got some goodies. Let's check them out. We'll do the box first. Some random stuff from Amazon. This is for the new welders, which are right over there. You may have already seen those in a in a mailbag, but it's unlikely you've seen the full review because I haven't taken it yet. So chip and hammer, handy to have because these things come with these absolute pieces of useless garbage. I have no idea what that's useful for, but one thing I never had is a chip and hammer because again, it was a shop tool. So us mechanics didn't tend to buy our own uh, for welding supplies. Also in here, oh, these are oil filters. This is for the the Honda Quad behind the, the Foreman 500. We're gonna give it, or I'm gonna give it an oil change if you guys wanna see it, I'll video it. And actually this is another thing I've never had. A nifty little oil drain pan. Now this is really small capacity. I think this is right about six liters or something like that. It has whatever this kind of useless screen. Well, it's not useless, I guess. A screen to stop things from falling down in. And a seal that you can put down on. And then you can take it to your local waste disposal to get rid of. Or like most people, out to the burn pile. But uh, I actually go to local waste disposal with mine. So. This will make it a little easier. Eh, it's a handy little thing. It's tiny. Perfect. Good for the quad. Just what I need and the lawnmower. Some parts. This is uh, from eBay. This is a spare recoil for my whole Sforma. Uh, 660. My uh, clone of the, the still. This is a... Uh, was supposed to be a genuine steel part, but it clearly is not. But uh, aluminum or magnesium, magnesium probably with plastic. Um, good to have a spare recoil because this is the part that tends to fail the most on those saws or pretty much any saw for that matter. And really, really handy to just have a spare to just bolt it on instead of uh, having to fuss around. These are the gloves I use in my shop. These are the, the nitrile exam gloves. These are just on sale at my local car quest. While I was at the local car quest, I picked up some 6011 welding rod for that welder right over there for the arc welder for the review upcoming because I had no welding rod. So this is uh, just one pound of it. It's uh, more than all need in a long, long time because I don't do a lot of welding, but uh, yeah, it'll do the job. Should uh, should get me by. Grab some anti seize while I'm there. Handy to have. And this came from Amazon. Actually, a wonderful deal on these. The Starrett, uh, good brand, wonderful brand. Made in Brazil, uh, hacksaw blades for uh, my hacksaws as well as this tool, which is in the toolbox. One of the handiest tools I have ever owned is this right here. This is a Blue Point aka snap-on brand. The case even split since I've been in the field, but you break a hacksaw blade in half and put it in here. It runs from the airline and you've got a pneumatic powered air hacksaw. Wonderful, wonderful tool. Great for exhausts. Uh, great for anything. Okay, let's see what's in the big box. What did we get? Caution heavy. I think I know what this is. With any luck, this should be a very economy priced lift for my quad and i'll show you why after perhaps oh well come on now it's stubborn it's got big staples on the ends motorcycle lift 1100 pounds instruction manual one single piece of paper it is it is very heavy so it's a little unruly, so let me get it out of the box here. Oof. There we go. Okay, there's the long and the short of it. This is just a scissor lift. It's basically a scissor jack. Takes, uh, should be 19 mil or three quarter inch. 
and it just runs up and it's designed for like i said motorcycles or atvs and just scissors them up to a max height of i have no idea i think it was about 14 inches or so uh, max height 340 millimeters so mm, about I can't get it on camera. One one standard ruler plus a little bit. So not very high, actually. Probably just run it up. Let's see how high it goes. But for my use, this actually might do the job. We'll we'll see and also see how stable it is. And well, we're gonna see a lot of things. But I, I don't hold out a lot of hope, but it was cheap. They're right around the 100 Canadian mark. I think we are got to be right near the top now. That's got to be... That's got to be decreasing stability. At, like... No, nah, that... I don't think I'd want to go too much higher than that. Because... Yeah, but there is just a little bit more thread left up in there. Well lubricated on the... There's there's the thread. Oops. There's the threaded rod up through. It is just basically a scissor jack. There's nothing to it. Which uh, is a tried and proven design. So we're going to give it a go and see how that works on my four-wheeler. And I'm just going to... Uh, actually, I'll just spin the camera around. Oops. So these came the other day. These are Amazon specials and I didn't do them on a mailbag or anything because truthfully I didn't hold out a whole lot of hope, but they're dollies to allow me to roll the quad around in the workshop easily wherever I want it. But the problem was, is getting this big monster up on them. This is not a light quad. It is quite heavy. So what I used is that chain fall up in the corner over uh, to strap to the ceiling joist, to the roof joist, and then lift the front and the back and put it on here. That was not a pleasant experience and I wouldn't want to have to do that every time I take the quad out once I fix the carburetor on it again. So I think this, this scissor jack might just be the ticket and we're going to give it a try. We'll see how it goes. Hope you like these mailbags from the garage. I hope you like how things are coming along out here. I'm pretty happy with it. This I'm really happy with how things are coming along behind me here. I just got to get this big screen TV behind me back going and we'll set up a Raspberry Pi in here and it should be pretty cool. So see you next video. Cheers.